Zombie. Hello everyone, my name is Stonesy Boy, and welcome back to possibly the final episode of this game, because I look it up, and it seems like you only need 90 stars to play this game. Not 100%, of course, but I'm not doing 100% unless I do it for a milestone. I don't know. Anyways, we're back to Overcooked 2, a game that I love playing, but... Dang, might be the death of me. Let's, let's do this! for making that level but also that was a really cool level and also oh my goodness that's a stonesy bot like I know what you're saying it's gray so it's stonesy yes that's the exact reason it's gray so it's me stonesy boy it's stonesy bot Dr. Stonesy as a matter of fact, I should probably be the first thing I've ever been, which is... Alright, much better. So, let's get into the... Oh! What? The game said... Okay, the little thing I said, followed, said, Hey, you need 90 to beat the, to beat the game. Not 92. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Give me a moment, please. Alright, so basically, during the cut, I got one more star from doing one of Kevin's challenges. But, yeah. I got a mole character, meaning this is the last level. Dun dun dun! I don't think anyone cares. Anyways, let's watch this, and let's see what we're dealing with. Alright, whoa! Big money, huh? Ah, dang. 500, 1,000, and 1,500? We're going for, like, the big shots, huh? Alright. So it seems that we are, that we have deep fryers, knives, cookers, a boiler. Oh my goodness. Of course, we're gonna have to wash the dishes. We're only running with two dishes. Is everything invisible again? I will be actually kind of mad. If stuff is invisible. Yeah, there's nothing. Dang it, why does it have to be freaking invisible? Alright. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, uh... Guess this is the king? <clears throat> oh. 
Okay, we're on our way. We need to go fight off the unbred. That doesn't make any sense. I thought they're the unbred because of bad yeast infection. Again, we still really don't have that good of coordination. Okay. It Alright. Food fight! Indeed. If you have young children that don't easily go to sleep at night, here's a bedtime story you all know already called Go the Fuck to Sleep by Adam Mansbach. Cue the music. The cats nestle close to their kittens. The lambs have laid down with the sheep. You are cozy and warm in your bed, my dear. Please, go the fuck to sleep. The windows are dark in the town, child. The whales huddle down in the deep. I'll read you one very last book if you swear you'll go the fuck to sleep. The eagles who soar through the sky are at rest, and the creatures who crawl, run, and creep. I know you're not thirsty, that's bullshit, stop lying. Lie the fuck down, my darling, and sleep. The wind whispers soft through the grass, hon. The field mice, they make not a peep. It's been 38 minutes, already. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Go to sleep. All the kids from daycare are in dreamland. The froggy has made his last leap. Hell no, you can't go to the bathroom. You know where you can go? The fuck to sleep. The owls fly forth from the treetops. Through the air they soar and they sweep. The hot crimson rage fills my heart, my love. For real, shut the fuck up and sleep. I didn't like that. Oof, got him here. The cubs and the lions are snoring. Wrapped in a big snuggly heap. How come you can do all this other great shit? But you can't lay the fuck down and sleep. The seeds slumber beneath the earth now, and the crops that the farmers will reap. No more question, this interview's over. I got two words for you, kid. Fucking sleep. The tiger reclines in the Siberian jungle. The sparrow has silenced her cheap. Fuck your stuffed bear, I'm not getting you shit. Close your eyes, cut the crap, sleep. Flowers doze low in the meadows, and high on the mountains so steep. My life is a failure, I'm a shitty ass parent, stop fucking with me please, and sleep. The giant pangolins of Madagascar are snoozing, as I lie here and openly weep. Sure, fine, whatever, I'll bring you some milk. Who the fuck cares, you're not gonna sleep. This room is all I can remember. The furniture crappy and cheap. You win, you escape, you run down the hall as I nod the fuck off and sleep. Bleary and dazed as I waken to find your eyes shut so I keep my fingers crossed tight as I tiptoe away and pray that you're fucking asleep. We're finally watching our movie. Popcorn's in the microwave. Beep. Oh shit, god damn it, you've gotta be kidding. Go the fuck back to sleep. The end. Good night.
Oh We're my done, goodness. My fine shelf. Chefs. Okay. Oh, that was Sorry, so Sorry, I kind of mistook you for shelves for a moment. Oh. Once again, by working together, you have saved our kingdom and made it to the end of the game. Fun fact, I have a save the world. And ever since you claimed their cravings, the unbred of soft doughy centers. Yeah. But does that matter? It does. Because they have soft and doughy yeah. centers? It does, because that means it'll freaking harden up again. Anyways, we all owe you our thanks. And we had a picnic with them. That'll be seven thousand dollars. No, wait. Oh, right. At and this we'll point, give you like two good thirty not seven thousand dollars. Like Forty thousand dollars. Or a really cool ending screen. Well that was overcooked too. I thought that said Chris Pratt as lead programmer. I was about to say this game sucks. Nope, Chris Brown. Even better. Whew. But yep, that's Overcooked 2, baby. I had a lot of fun playing it. And hopefully by next week we'll have something... And I'll have a new and stressful game to stress myself on. Maybe I Am Bread. Or maybe a doctor game. I don't know. Anyways, that was I Am Bread. I had a lot of fun recording it. Don't expect me to ever uh, play this game ever again, unless, you know, screaming, and, whew, hope you guys have a super fantastic, wonderful day, be polite, be efficient, I'm sorry to my editor who has to edit this, aka me, make sure you guys give him a name, I don't care what the name is, as long as it's appropriate, I was thinking it's just naming him Stone, but yeah, anyways, hope you guys have a super fantastic, wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time, bye bye! Chefs? Chefs, can you hear me? The unbred are breaking down the gates. We need you now. Come back to the castle, my friends. Quick! You're just in the nick of time. It seems the unbred are determined to take the castle. You know I need to cook up a storm and fill the empty stomachs with warmth. I'm Australian now! Indeed, the yeast infection has spread. So now they are the unbred, and they, you guys have something that could probably stop them, maybe. Hopefully, God. Uh, give them everything you got in, in the name of the Onion Kingdom or something. I don't know why there's breads in front of our thing. It, uh, that's my line, dick. Okay, fine. This is probably the last time I've ever seen, but, you know, bye.